Good morning friends. In HVAC system, normally if you go to the roof side, you can see there are different type of duct materials used based on the different kind of application. So normally in HVAC system, we have both metallic and non-metallic duct. In this video, we are going to see the detailed, uh, detailed analysis of all the duct materials used based on the different application. In addition to that, we are going to see one middle east high-rise building project. In this project, what are the different duct material used and what is normally recommended in middle east? That is also we will discuss in this video. So coming to the metallic duct, the first very important duct material which we normally see is a galvanized steel duct. It's a standard and the most common material used in the air conditioning system. The specification for galvanized steel ducts are ASTM A635 or ASTM A653M. If you go to the British standard, it is BS2989. The minimum gauge of round, oval or rectangular ductwork shall be 26 gauge aspects magna standard. Ductwork normally fab fabricated by using SMATNA or DW144 standard. So the gauge mean it indicates the thickness. We will see what are the thickness in the coming slides. So like this type of galvanized steel material mostly used in the supply, return and all kind of application. And the next one, the galvanized sheet metal recommended for ductwork should have a zinc coating. So if you see the galvanized steel material, both the inside and outside, you can see the zinc coating. Usually it follows the G90. This is the most common recommended arrangement in the Middle East also. So G90 means is 0 0.9 ohms or 25.5 gram of zinc coating should be provided in one square feet of the duct. Similarly, like G90, we have the G65, G115, G235 also available. So, if you are increasing the G number, that means the coating thickness will be increased. So, for the example, smoke extract, car park ventilation and stairwell ventilation pressurization duct work and any duct specified to work in fire case construction normally it will conform to BS5581 5588 normally what happen if you go to this type of uh, pressurization duct it must have two hours fire rated duct as indicated here additionally it must have UL or underwriters laboratory approval and mostly we are using the same galvanized steel material but the thickness of the, the thickness for this kind of application will be slightly higher mostly 1.2 mm thick GA sheet we are using regardless of its duct sizes so if you see in this table the SMACNA SMACNA means this is sheet metal air conditioning contractor national association so in the left side image you can see that based on the different duct sizes the gauges and is mentioned here for example if you see the rectangular duct like this there will be a width and height dimension will be there so whatever the duct dimension shown here is the higher size for example we have a duct with a 14 inch by 12 inch the higher side is 14 inch so the 14 inch the higher side we have to consider when we go for the duct thickness for example up to 12 inch of the duct dimension the higher side we have to use 26 gauge thickness duct. 26 gauge means it indicates 0 0.5 mm. Similarly, 13 to uh, 30 inch, you have to use 24 gauge. So 24 gauge means it is 0 0.6 mm. Similarly, we have to go for when, this, when the the size of the duct is increasing, the gauge is reducing. If the gauge is reducing, means the thickness is increasing. For example, if you see here. 22 gauge it is 0 0.8 mm and 20 gauge it is 1 mm and 18 gauge it is 1.25 mm. So when the gauge size is reduced that means the thickness are getting increased. And the next duct mostly used in the HVAC system is the aluminium duct. It is widely used in clean room. For example, if you go to the farm article, food application, mostly we can see the aluminium duct. These are also preferred system for moisture area. For example, the moisture area means it carries lots of moisture. Example, the swimming pool application, a laundry area, a dishwasher. Mostly we can see the uh, this type of aluminium duct. It is a rust proof duct. That is the reason it is mostly used in the moisture condensed area. And mainly this specification of the aluminium duct sheets are ASTM B209 or if you go to British standard BSEN 485 or 515 and 573. And similar to the galvanized steel duct, we don't need the zinc coating over the aluminum duct so this is the image you can see related to the aluminum duct and the third one mostly used in the HVC system is stainless steel duct it is used in duct system for kitchen extras and highly corrosive area and also the moisture area so more moisture and for the fume exhaust also we are using the stainless steel duct so stainless steel you know that 
is uh, is a corrosion free debt so we will not get the corrosion value same like uh, normal galvanized steel material that's the reason stainless steels are usually mostly in the corrosive area also the specification for the stainless steel sheets are ASTM A167 so these are the specification mostly asked in the interview so we should have some idea about the specification and for extra ductor handling corrosive gases for example in the industrial project normally we have the battery room and also substation if you go to the electrical substation we might have the battery room so in the battery room uh, we we are normally using the stainless steel then when it comes to stainless steel the very important point you must know what is the grade they are using because in the stainless steel there are different grades are available so what i shown here is a ss stainless steel 316 normally we have ss 304 ss ss 316 SS316L. So there are different kind of grades are available. So normally this SS304 is not that much expensive compared with the SS316. So we have to verify what is the material grade that our client is recommending to install in the project. So after that, the important thing is SS duct have higher strength rigidity and best finish compared with the galvanized iron ducts and uh, this one is normally available like as i told you ss304 s16 so different grades are available for the aluminum duct and uh, over the aluminum duct we don't need a special coating like what we did in the galvanized iron we don't need the zinc coating over the aluminum duct so this is the image for the aluminum duct you can see here and the next important thing mostly we can see in the kitchen application that is a mild steel duct so mild steel duct normally follow, follow the specification of ASTM A1008 or ASTM A1008M it is widely used in application involving the fluids and kitchen how to exhaust and mainly for the high temperature normally this duct will withstand the high temperature so we are using for the high temperature and it, special coating requirements also available over this duct for example uh, ms ducting is made from the high quality mild steel material which contains a high amount of carbon for example 0 0.16 to 0 0.29 percentage of carbon is available for the metallic uh, mild steel duct this mild steel ducts mostly used in the kitchen exhaust system because of its mainly its fire resistant uh, characters so this one if you see the, like the fire resistant characters of ms duct or mild steel ducts can be further enhanced by fire rated spray coat so normally if you want to increase the fire rating on this thing you can apply the fire rated spray coat over the mild steel duct also you can provide multiple coats of red oxide over the mild steel duct to improve the performance and additionally we can provide the rock cool insulation also conforming to nfa 92 standard so to improve the fire resistant characters and then coming to the non-metallic duct so so far we discussed about the metallic duct now we have the non-metallic duct so this non-metallic duct also mostly is a famous one in the middle east and other countries also so coming to the non-metallic duct the first non-metallic duct we are going to see is the phenolic pre-inserted duct so it's a factory fabricated duct and the important thing is a very easy to install this type of uh, pre-inserted duct so the phenolic duct is normally a fire rated duct so this duct is available in 20 and uh, 30 mm thicknesses 20 mm is mostly we are using for the internal use and 30 mm for the external use we are using and the duct density normally minimum 55 kilogram per meter cube as per e british standard en 1602 uh, and the thermal conductivity of the duct normally it should be low so like you see here for the spiralic pre duct mostly it will come with 0 0.033 w by mk at 23 degrees celsius mean temperature following the standard of ASTM C518 and it's a UL191 listed fire-rated duct and in this duct factory applied aluminium foil reinforcing on both sides so in the duct, if you see the duct image on both sides for example like you see in this duct and both sides front and back side we can see the aluminium foil like this so if it is installed in the uh, fcu like you see here we can fabricate the duct uh, we can fabricate the phenolic pre inserted duct in this way so it's very easy to install in the site for this type of duct and the, the coming to the second thing this aluminium fo uh, foil which is reinforced to over the duct which has maximum 200 micron th aluminium thickness and this duct panolic prenatal duct can be used in supply return fresh and also exhaust air uh, application but mostly in the middle east we are using this duct for the only for the indoor so up to four meter long duct is available 
with using this type of phenolic preinserted duct and uh, the main and important points to note down with this one is we it's a fiber free duct so the fiber free rigid insulation core of pre-inserted duct to work it mainly minimize the risk of loose fiber because if the duct has the fiber when the air is passing through the fiber this fiber will be distributed and it will contact with the, uh, contact with the air so this air will be delivered to the application so that will make some issue in the application that's the reason this duct mostly used and it's a fiber free duct so there is no chance of the loose fiber will be generated from the uh, duct when the air is passing so the panel size I mean the duct panel size mostly available in 1200 mm width and 4000 mm length and especially suitable for use on high specification project where fiber core is an important thing for example which is mostly used in the the food beverage and pharmaceutical industry so in this type of project if the loose fibers goes to the um, uh, delivery area so we will it will create a big issue so that's why it's a fiber free duct is used in this type of very sensitive area and also clean air application and hygiene controlled environment we are using this type of phenolic pre-inserted duct is a fiber free duct and you can see the images also the aluminium foil is faced in both sides of the duct and the next important duct work, we normally see, mostly we see the rigid thermostat uh, poly ISS unit insulation core. So this is the another pre-inserted duct. Like you see here, the aluminum foil facing is available in both the front and back side. And again, it's a fiber free duct work. So it can be used in supply return, fresh and excess duct work for all the HVC system. But mostly we are using for the indoor system. And up to 4 meter length, uh, we have the duct like this. And the duct is available with uh, 10 to 30 mm the thickness and duct density normally um, 45 mm uh, 45 kilogram per meter cube is a minimum density we can uh, normally use so the thermal sense uh, conductivity as I mentioned earlier, the thermal conductivity must be very low uh, for the effective duct work. So, thermal conductivity is like in this area 0.022 W per mk that is at 10 degree Celsius, uh, 10 degree mean Celsius mean temperature as per ASTM C518. So, the thermal conductivity of both the phenolic duct and also this duct is very low. So, this is a very, uh, very possible advantage for the ducting material and panel size mostly available in uh, 1200 mm width and 4000 mm length so the next duct work we we can see mostly in the underground work for example if you have the underground seating area if you want to provide the duct application for that one we mostly go with the fiber glass reinforced duct that's a frp duct so the main advantage is is a corrosion resistance so that is used in the and uh, underground duct system so excellent sound attenuation and a high quality ceiling is available like you see here it is normally available in the rectangle and the circle both side we can we can get the GIFRP duct when it comes to fire rated duct for example the fire rated ducts normally we are using for the kitchen extract the corridor pressure system the car park ventilation like all the all kind of smoke extract system so the fire when it comes to fire rated duct work you have to see mainly two very important point for that is whether it is a coated whether your project specification is calls for coated duct or non coated duct and secondly whether it calls for insulated duct or non insulated duct because some of the civil defense accept non-coated duct also for example if you go to Abu Dhabi civil defense they are normally accepting the non-coated duct also so um, if you have to verify this point very important thing so in this specification they have asked for the non-coated galvanized steel duct as I mentioned earlier the fire duct work uh, we are using the galvanized steel duct but the thickness of the duct normally it will be higher so like uh, compared with the other application so the fire duct work usually it comes with it two hours fire rating for the application so this is the important thing we have to consider so this is the highest building project from the middle east for example we are just going to look into what are the different kind of duct material used for uh, this project for example here you can see the supply duct return duct and exhaust air duct we have used with the galvanized steel as i told this is the famous one for the common air conditioning system so this is for the riser and a plant room exposed duct work and large size duct work all kind of supply return and excess duct work we have used with the galvanized steel duct work so low pressure duct work for fan coil unit so if you have the fcu the fcu is supplying to different kind of rooms so this is the this is the area called as a low pressure duct work 
after the FCU. So this FCU duct we are using pre-insulated duct work and the fresh air duct work again we use the galvanized steel duct work for the kitchen hood in this project they are recommending to use stainless steel fire rated duct work. So this is SS304 as I mentioned here SS304, SS316 there are different grades are available. So in this project we are using SS304 car park ventilation supply and exhaust and smoke extract fresh air makeup duct staircase pressurization so all this type of smoke control system they are recommending galvanized steel fire rated duct work so if you have the duct which is exposed to view with the insulation additionally you have to provide the aluminum jacketing with 0.7 mm thickness so we have different kind of insulation thicknesses available that one we will discuss in the next video in the coming days we are going to see the complete design and installation of hvac system so please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching thank you bye